Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to walk you through setting up this NPC medic in the verse documentation. There's a couple little steps that it's easy to get kind of messed up on. And so I just wanted to show you how relatively easy it is to actually do. We're just going to go into Unreal Editor and we're going to come up to the verse explorer and we need to create two classes. So we're going to left click, right click, add a new verse file and we're going to just call this Q. And then we're going to go create empty. So this isn't the same as creating a verse device. It's, and then we're going to double click into this and it's going to open up Visual Studio. And we're going to have a blank project. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. Then we're going to jump into the documentation on the NPC medic. Come all the way down to the bottom. And there's this code here to create a queue. Left click and drag. Select it all. Go control C and copy it jump back into Visual Studio and control V and you'll notice we don't get any errors and that's great. So we're done there. Then what we can do is jump back into Unreal Editor and we're going to come back up here on Verse Explorer. We're going to click on the project, add another new verse file. This time we're going to call this medic underscore example and create empty on that. And that's going to create another class can double click into it as well and then we're going to jump back into the documentation page here come up here to the top and select all this code there's quite a bit of code here there's a lot going on here that's worth studying actually so we're going to select all this code here and then you can right click copy it go back into Visual Studio and we can just come down a line and hit control V and you notice we're going to get an error down here. I'm not sure what that's about. But I wanted to draw your attention to something here on the folder side. And you notice how everything's red right now. So one thing we're going to do is come up here on this little icon that says new folder. And we're going to call this NPC underscore behaviors. And then we're going to drag this Medic, medic example into that folder. So just left click and drag it in there like that. Move. We are still getting this error here and I'm not sure what that's about but it won't compile with this error. So we're just going to comment that out. Now I don't see any errors. So let's jump back into Unreal Editor and let's build our verse code and see if we get any errors. And so we don't. So now we're really, this is straightforward from here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to right click, go to AI, create a new NPC definition. We can just leave it called the default name. We'll come up here and we're going to select the guard. Double click to select that. And then under behavior, we're going to select verse behavior and then click this little arrow. And then we'll pick our medic example like that. And then the last thing we can do is down here under cosmetic, we can just pick any character that we want and I'll just pick Alpine Ace and we're going to go ahead and save that. And then we're done with that. So we can close this window. Okay, then what we can do is just go ahead and drag this into the scene like that. And there is our NPC character just like that. There's just three devices that we need. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to come over here under Fortnite under devices and we need a mutator zone so we'll drag this into the scene like that kind of over there and then we want to make the zone visible so we'll go ahead and click that and then we're going to get an, a VFX spawner here drag this into the scene like that and change it from fireworks to bubbles Okay, and then that's all we have to do there. And then we just need a sentry, and this is to just inflict some damage. So get the sentry and drag him off over there in the distance a little ways. Now we just come back and select our NPC character. And if you'll see over here under its details panel, there's this NPC behavior script. We simply select the medic example, click this little arrow none, and then all we have to do is select our mutator zone and our VFX spawner like that. And we can go ahead and save. And that's it. 
Oh, and then if we want, we can go ahead and adjust our healing volume to, let's just make it 100, like that. And that's it. So let's go ahead and I'll just launch the session and I'll come back and see if this actually works. Okay, it finally started up, so let's go ahead and see what happens. So he spawns in and he's walking around just doing his guard thing. So that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, now let me go get some damage over here. really go to target practice dude. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> it's like the worst shot here we go okay I'm wounded so let me get over here and see what happens hey I need help he comes over me now notice when I hit my my level he takes off walking so that's supposed to be this would be the branch going on right now the branch in the code yep and see he takes off as soon as I hit so that triggers him to go back to doing his guard duties and that's how it should work yeah so that is correct that the guard should return to walking Yep. So if I come back over here, let me get back over there and see. Yeah, I guess I gotta track him down when I'm wounded. So then he kind of comes over to me while I'm healing. And then as soon as I'm healed, then he takes off again. So I see that's how it should be working. Anyway, well, I hope you found this helpful. I just wanted to post this update because I thought this was kind of a challenging project. Anyway, take care and I'll talk to you next time.